there was an invitation from a senator of the Green Party of Australia to discuss matters of Sri Lankan interest on the negative form to suggest that Sri Lanka should be suspended from the Commonwealth membership in the eve of the Shogam, the Commonwealth Head of Government meeting which is being scheduled for October 28, 2011 in Western Australia. To this closed door meeting, the convener invited people of her choice and they happened to be most of them who had been critical with baseless allegations against Sri Lanka. There was no opportunity for right-minded Sri Lankan community or any Australian to participate in this uh, closed-door discussion. Having had that discussion on the 20th of September, the senator who convened the meeting moved a motion in the Senate on the 22nd of September. The government representation was aired and it was categorical that they had no requirement to discuss a matter of international concern between two countries as well as in view of the Australia government's interest in Sri Lanka's progress to the future. During this motion, a vote was taken and it was very encouraging to see both the opposition and the uh, government members unanimous, unanimously voted against the motion. I consider this is a very good sign of the deeply rooted Sri Lanka-Australia friendship which spans for many, many years and this especially at a time when there are certain interested parties with vested interest trying to create and retard Sri Lanka's progress and reconciliation process at a time with such an atmosphere, uh, such a decision from the government of Australia is welcome and this tells the world the close friendship and between the two uh, countries, Australia and Sri Lanka. I have made two presentations interviews to the ABC radio as well as Australian Association of Press Correspondent highlighting these aspects why there should not be any motion of uh, nature that, of that nature which uh, attempting to bring about falsehood and tarnish the good image of Sri Lanka.